So today I'm going to show you an interesting little experiment using gallium and sulfuric acid. Now it's best that you don't try this at home because sulfuric acid has a tendency to burn through stuff, including skin. So let's get started, shall we? So here's the sulfuric acid, which I then added to some water in this beaker to dilute it. When you add the sulfuric acid to water, it creates an exothermic reaction which causes the water to heat up. Now that it's cooled down, I'm going to take some of my gallium and drop it in. Notice how the gallium forms into a ball shape? That's the gallium reacting with the sulfuric acid, creating gallium sulfate, which causes the surface tension to pull up the gallium into a sphere. Now watch what happens when I touch the gallium with this iron drill piece. The gallium starts to pulsate, almost like it's alive. The reason why it does this is because the iron is temporarily absorbing the reaction which reduces the surface area, thus flattening the gallium. But as soon as the gallium comes out of contact with the iron, the reaction starts again and reverts back to a ball, and that's why the cool pulsating effect happens. So there we have it, the gallium beating heart experiment. I'll see you next time.